How's it going everyone? Math with Chris. Uh, let's look at the number so pencil. Let's look at the number 75. We got to find the factors of that bad boy right there. Uh, first thing we always do is put in our bank the two easiest factors to find. That's one and the number itself, 75. Uh, now we're going to break this down using a factor tree as always. Uh, what are two numbers that multiply together to give you 75? Not a whole lot of options here. Uh, off the top of my head, the first thing that comes to me is 3 times 25. Uh, let's look at 3 first. 3 is a prime number. Circle that. And that's already finito. 25 can be broken down into 5 times 5. 5 is a prime number, so circle both of those. This factor tree is done already. Uh, if you see any, any path we take, any branch we go ends in a circled prime number. So the prime factors of 75 are a 3, a 5, and a 5. Let's write those out. 3, 5 times 5. That does indeed equal 75. Uh, check mark that. So let's bank our prime uh, factors that we found. Well, we found a 3, and we found a 5. Uh, and any number we hit along the way also can get banked. Well, there you go. You got a 25. Let's put that guy in there. And anything else? Well, we got to come down here and check on a couple more things. Any combination of these numbers that can multiply together to give us a number not in the bank yet. Let's try 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. We don't have 15 yet, so bank the 15. Uh, anything else? Here's a 3 times 5. Well, we got 15. 5 times 5, 25. That's all the combinations. We're done. There are six factors of 75. They are 1, 3, 5, 15, 25, and 75. That's it. That's a wrap on the factors of 75. I hope you guys found this helpful. We have a bunch more of these videos if you need more practice. Uh, see you guys again real soon.